I had a chance to talk to President-elect Trump last night, uh, about 3.30 in the morning, I think it was, to congratulate him on winning the election. And I had a chance to invite him to come to the White House tomorrow uh, to talk about making sure that there is a successful transition between our presidencies. A lot of our fellow Americans are exultant today. A lot of Americans are less so. But that's the nature of campaigns. That's the nature of democracy. It is hard and sometimes contentious and noisy. Uh, it's not always inspiring. Sometimes you lose an argument. Sometimes you lose an election. You know, the path that this country has taken uh, has never been a straight line. We zig and zag, and sometimes you know, we move in ways that some people think uh, is forward and others think is moving back. Um, and that's okay. I've lost elections before. Joe hasn't, but, you know. So I've been, I've been sort of sharing. Remember, you beat me badly. <laughs> um, that's the way politics works sometimes. We, we try really hard to persuade people that we're right. And then people vote. And then if we lose, we learn from our mistakes, we do some reflection, we lick our wounds, we brush ourselves off, we get back in the arena. We go at it. We try even harder the next time. The point, though, is, is that we all go forward with a presumption of good faith in our fellow citizens. Because that presumption of good faith is essential to a vibrant and functioning democracy. That's how this country has moved forward for 240 years. That's how we've pushed boundaries and promoted freedom around the world. That's how we've expanded the rights of our founding to reach all of our citizens. It's how we 